Hey guys, can we play some more Amanda? I've been missing her so much since the last time that we had seen her. Joe, we all know that you wish you could see more of her. In fact, we all know that you wish that you could see all of her, even though she is a literal demon. Demons need friends too, Donald. Don't discriminate. Yeah, but you do not want to be her friend because she is a demon, Joe. You want to be friends because you are what the British call a nonce. Don't go bringing the British into this, Barack. Those guys are so freaking weird. Yeah, Barack, the way that they say bottle of water honestly makes me uncomfortable. Joe, you cannot talk about making people uncomfortable. You spend every single episode simping for a fictional child. She is not fictional, Barack. Don't say that. Whatever. I do not even care anymore. Let's just get this started so that we can stop hearing you being creepy even sooner. I was actually thinking that with this episode, we could try to just go all of the way through and keep going until we finally beat it. Yay, more Amanda. Oh boy, that sounds like such a good idea, Donald. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh boy, I am so excited. Just keep it in your pants for a while longer, okay, Joe? Don't get too excited before we even start. That sounds like a phrase that you are used to hearing a lot, Donald. That is not true, Barack. Just ask Melania. Oh, shush, Donald, I do not care. I just want to see Amanda right now. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hello again, and Amanda. I'm Wooly. Oh, I have missed you so Today, much. We're going okay, to make so what is the plan from here then? My I feel like we have exhausted most pie. options by this point. What's Maybe we should try and go back to the tape pie? of Wooly being in the hospital. I feel like there is something we are missing with that one. Mm, yeah, that makes that sense, Barack. Delicious. How do we get back there again? Today, Just we're sit back and watch the master at work, pie. Donald. First, First we, we have to make to this pie. Apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Ooh, I know, Amanda. It is a knife. Good job. We can use a knife to cut we the apples. We can apple. use a sharp Joe, knife. Joe, how are you still having to think uh, about the answers this early on? I don't think we're supposed on? to do that by We ourselves. must have watched this tape like 20 it's times already. It's always good to be brave Every moment that I am with Amanda feels like the first Donald. My connection with her is pure. More like purely creepy. That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the apple. I would not let Amanda anywhere near me with a knife. Matter of fact, I would not let Amanda anywhere near me at all. Sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Ooh, it is in the pantry, Amanda. Joe, did you already forget all of the answers or something? Why are you getting so excited over all of this? Once you also find true Let's love, Donald, then you will understand. Mmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Mmm, yes, Amanda, yes, I can. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. That is some real We're fatherless own, attitude Lily. right there. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Do we really need to be watching all of this again? Our pie is ready! Why can we not I just do this from the start? Eat it. it never hurts to Willie, do a quick refresher, have some Donald. Pie. Be real. If we had tried it from the start, then you would not have remembered what numbers we needed to put in. That is Cap Barack. My memory is impeccable. The temperature is 524, and it was for 30 minutes. Easy. You see, Donald? That is exactly what I mean. You just got all of that wrong, and we had literally just seen what the correct one was. There was no way that any of us was going to remember before watching the tape again. You just got lucky, Barack. Now let's just watch the next tape already. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Oh, hi and again, I'm Amanda. Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? I love the fact that you are not in it, you demonic bitch. Hey, That's don't talk about great. Amanda like that, Donald. I like that there are you should so be treating her with the respect that she deserves. I am talking about her with every ounce of respect that she deserves, Joe. Friend. It is not Bert, my fault if that just means that I have every right to talk all of the card. shit that I want. Do you know where the store is? Yeah, Amanda, it is on the left. Good job! Let's go to the store! Joe, are you seriously going to do that every time? Card. You bet my your sweet bippy that I am, Barack. I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? We should send them a happy card, Amanda. Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? Wooly, I if want you keep to talking shit, then you are going to end up as treat. my own special treat. Where can I buy a treat from my friend? You can buy one in the bakery, Good Amanda. Good job! Let's go get that treat! 
Oh man, I love it when she tells me good job. It just makes me all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Mm. I think that is cancer that you are feeling, Everything Joe. smells so good. You should probably get good. that checked out, not gonna lie. I want to buy no, my Barack, friends it is not. My Biden blast does not allow cookies. anything like cancer Can to form in me. Can you show me where the cookies are? I'm kind are? of like Deadpool in that sense. Those look so Joe, you are tasty. literally nothing like Deadpool. We just have Deadpool one is actually cool and you are lame pressure. as fuck. The package is ready for my friend. Yippee, let's go, Amanda. From me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Yeah, shut Let's up, Willie. Send this Amanda wants to, to send that friend. package, so she's going to send that is... package. Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Don't worry, guys. I remember this one. Great work. It was Kate. We need to send now the package we to can Kate. Send this to my friend. Oh man, I love this show so much. I am honestly starting to get tired of hearing you talk about how much you love this show, Joe. It is honestly getting to the point where I think I would prefer Dark Brandon over hearing about how you love Amanda for the 50th time in a row. Now that I think about it, we have not really heard anything about what Dark Brandon thinks about Amanda. Maybe he ends up being just as obsessed with her as Joe. Ooh, maybe I should bring him out and you guys can ask him. Screw it. I think anything would be better than hearing you constantly talk back to every single choice that Amanda gives us. Okay, guys, sounds good to me. I will see you all in a bit. Make sure to ask him about what he thinks of Amanda for me. Ah! It's showtime, baby. Where is the malarkey? Hi, Dark Brandon. It honestly feels like forever since we last saw you. For me, it feels like no time at all, Barack. Oh, when you have lived as you. many lives as I have, Whatever you do, don't years have... pass by just as quickly as the days do for you guys. Oh no! Well, can you help us with this well, demon bitch? Accident. Joe is getting absolutely An obsessed with her, and it is starting to get happens, really annoying. But it's not oh dang, is that Amanda? Fault. I have not seen her in millennia. In your house, yeah, I can help. School, Keep going on the same path for now. You can get I will show you some cool shit in the At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Okay, so here you are just going to put it in normally. And then that after this prompt, I will show you fine. something. Okay, cool. I'm just going to type in knee then. That's right. Willie hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Okay, so here you are going to put nobody in the prompt. You're probably right. Now pause Let's the tape and turn around. What the hell did that do? Oh wow, look, a tape. Wait, Brandon, how did you know how to do that? Me and Amanda used to chill in the underworld all of the time back in the day. Nowadays, she is too psycho even for me, though. Willie to the hospital to see a doctor. Which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Which one should I pick now? I don't think that I'm just gonna try and piss her off Willie. because I'm honestly just annoyed of Willie's looking at her by this point. Of nah, pain. Donald, we just get through this. Come on, now. let's There's get Wooly fixed tape. up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The to... doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how this we bitch can is help Wooly. Which really tool is. can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Don't worry, guys, I know this that one. That won't Fuck. help, Wooly. Donald, you are an idiot. I'm scared. What should we use? Donald, just pick the x-ray machine. OK, OK, That's fine. Right. Now we can look at Wooly's bones. OK, then, cool. Well, now we can just go and check out the new tape when you guys are ready. Wait. First, I just want to make sure that there are no extra secrets in the credits before we do. Barack, I doubt that there is going to be any kind of post credit scene for an Amanda the Adventurer tape. You never know for sure until you check, though, Donald. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's just get this new tape in so that we can finally get to some of the good stuff. It's been three weeks oh, since IRL local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Sam is definitely Colton going is the to be important of for Amanda later. the Adventurer the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Oh yeah, they are basically Last year, shoving it Cameron in our face Entertainment here. purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, 
planning to syndicate the program nationally. Oh shit, it's the IRL. Penland's man acquisition from last of the program time. and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Joe is going to absolutely hate that he missed this LMAO. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. So that child we from reached the out to Hamlin Temple Entertainment Sam's for an interview. And basically Amanda While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. Oh, boo -hoo. For the time being, Get Rebecca's it, local child. appearances have been canceled, including milk. the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Okay, so Sam is definitely going to be something that we can use somewhere. It's me, your Wait, friend, the fuck is this Skip. Guy? And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Wait, I think I already know where we can use Sam. Oh, really? Where? In the farm tape, there is that section where they are talking about what the daddy chicken is called. If Sam is Amanda's dad, then maybe putting in his name there will do something. Oh shit, yeah, you are right, Barack. Well, it sounds like you have got this all figured out, guys. Joe is asking to come back now, so I'm going to leave you both to it. Good luck with Amanda. She is one crazy son of a bitch nowadays. Don't worry, Brandon, I think we have got her by the balls this time. We will see about that. Anyway, I'm going to be going now. See you guys next time. Ah! Oh, hey guys, what did I miss? Does Dark Brandon love Amanda as much as me? Dark Brandon helped us find a new tape. Apparently Amanda's dad is a guy called Sam, and right now we are just trying to see what happens if we put his name in when it asks about the daddy chicken. Oh, that is cool, Barack. What did Dark Brandon say about Amanda, though? Does he love Amanda, too? He said that she is a psycho hey, bitch, Joe. And he said that because he has some basic common chicken. sense. No, Donald, you must be lying. There is no way that Dark Brandon does not see what I see in her. Only idiots like you two could miss it. No one asked Joe. Just get over it because no one agrees with anything you say. Not even your alter ego. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? Okay, here we go. Wait, what did you say? Moment of truth, boys. Is there another tape behind us? There is. It worked. I am an actual genius. The rest of this game is going to be easy peasy if we can keep up progress like this. How do you... Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Yeah, Amanda, it is over this way. Okay, let's go! Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> Is it just me, or does that sentence feel ever so slightly racist? I think that one is just on you, Barack. None detected on my end. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? Bullyable is the answer. Orphans are so easy to pick on. What are they going to do anyway? There Tell their no parents? Will you help the lonely kitten? I do not want to, but I know that if I do not say yes, then you are going to freak out and get all pissy with me, so yes. Man, this bitch is so creepy. Speak for yourself, Barack. I think we just had a romantic moment of staring into each other's eyes. I have butterflies in my stomach right now. The only thing that you have is dementia, Joe. Now shut up already. I want to see what is on this new tape. Is this shit gonna start? What the fuck is taking so long? What the fuck is this cringe shit? Welcome to Coffee Break. 
Today, I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. Oh man, I love cookies. You can have a coffee break without cookies. Oh, I cookies. wish that I could have some of those cookies too. Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. That you is a funny way is. of saying you total dog shit. Idea and a Shut the budget. fuck up, Donald. I'm trying to watch the I tape. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. Oh, and Amanda has such and a boy, big and loving show heart, has a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? Devil worship. I wanted Definitely to devil show worship. That teaches children oh, shut up, guys. It is not devil worship. Is Amanda is amazing. Place. I do not know but how you guys do not see that. There are adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. Adopted? Hold up. She's gone There's through, some lore she's here. She's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life, and it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. You can Watching say that again, Mrs. Random Lady. Delightful. I mean, Amanda the whole is the most show special is just thing so ever. cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. Is anyone else getting the vibe that this guy doesn't actually care about his Sam, daughter at all? Thanks so much yeah, for Barack, having a I don't know what's going on today. here yet, but I, I swear it seems like so this guy just adopted you. a child so that they and could make them be a free actor or something. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. God, that was so cringe. I'm glad that is finally over, not gonna lie. Yeah, me too, Barack. That felt like watching through a YouTube video from the 2010s. Oh, come on, guys. I thought that it was pretty charming. You gotta at least give it a chance. No way, Joe. If there is one thing that this game has taught me, it is that if you say that something is good, then it is usually awful. Well, then you must not have been listening, Donald, because I have learned a lot. Maybe that is why you somehow don't love Amanda as much as I do. Whatever, Joe, I cannot be bothered to deal with your senile ass right now. Barack, what is the plan from here then? From here, I'm pretty sure that we need to get ourselves killed and restart. What the fuck are you talking about, Barack? Why would we want to get ourselves killed? Just trust me, Donald, this is the best way forward right now. Oh no, Barack, I do not want to see that big creepy stick bug thing again. That thing is really scary. You'll be fine, Joe. Once we restart, we will never have to see it ever again. At what point will this bitch accept that we aren't going to help the lonely kitten? No, bitch, the lonely kitten can go screw itself. Why don't you come say something about it, huh? Oh no, Barack, don't tempt fate. I do not want to get scared by this thing again. Hey, come at me, bitch boy. Let's see how well you hold up against my drone strikes you straight to TV looking fuck. Oh no, why did you have to say that, Barack? Ah! <laughs> I really do not like that thing. That thing is really scary. Joe, that thing is Amanda, you fucking idiot. No, it is not, Donald. Stop lying. Amanda is amazing and that thing is scary. Obviously, they cannot be the same thing. Whatever, Joe. Let's just focus on making more progress right now. Let's see what new information we can find if we play this tape again. 
What information could we possibly get from this tape at this point? What? We must have watched this tape like 20 times already. Good yeah, job. I think we have gotten all of the information out of this one. Maybe. Wait, but I am pretty this? sure I remember seeing something that we can use now in the next one. Uh, look, I can remember the settings for the apple pie this time. It was 425 degrees for 30 minutes. Oh, wow, Donald, congratulations. You have the most basic of short-term memory. Oh, well, what can I say, Barack? The Trump family really does make some... Wait, was that an insult? Did you just fucking insult me? No, Donald, trust me. For someone like you, it was a compliment. And what exactly does someone like me mean, Barack? He means someone that is mentally ill, Donald. Why the fuck Good am I being job. called mentally ill what? by the guy who Not has a whole stuff. separate personality stored what? away in his gotta... mind? Guys, shut up already. There was a sign about a blob it. I'm gonna try and put the price it had into his keypad. Wow, that is pretty smart, Barack. Okay, hang on everyone, just shut up for a sec. I gotta remember these numbers. Oh wow, it worked. Damn, that was pretty smart, Barack. I do not think that I could have thought of that. You could not have thought of that because you are normally too busy being on mute whenever Amanda is on screen doing God knows what. Right now. Wait, you guys can see that? I thought you guys would not notice. Joe, you are fucking disgusting. But lucky for you, some new stuff seems to be happening, so we do not have to address you just yet. Oh, hey, look, the card says, congratulations, you're one year older. Wishing you the bestest year yet. Oh my God, was that the card from Amanda? Did Amanda just send me a birthday card? Oh, I knew she loved me back. Shut up, Joe. We are trying to figure out what the code is on the side of the card. I do not care about your little schoolgirl crush moment. What could it be, though? Those are definitely the right numbers. Guys, I think the candles are supposed to be ones. That makes sense, Barack. Let's try that. What is that for? Is that for the cake? No, Donald, it can't be. The cake is way too big. Maybe it is for the birthday card. That sounds like the mother of all house fires, Barack. Well, at least if we go down in a house fire, then we take Amanda down with us. Why would we want that, Donald? That sounds even worse than just dying normally. Guys, shut up, it worked. Let's try and put this new code into the blobbit. Okay then, you guys are about to see my amazing math skills at work here. One times four is four. Five minus one is four. One times one plus one is two. One divided by one is just one. One plus one plus one is three. One minus one is zero. Boom, look at me, I'm so outstandingly awesome at everything. Donald, you said that all so fucking quickly I could barely keep up with a single thing that you were saying. That is the downside of being so intensely amazing at everything, Barack. Sometimes people just cannot understand my genius. Oh, this one is easy. Wait, what? I do not understand this one at all. I thought that you were a genius, Donald. If that is true, then how come you do not understand this puzzle? That is because this puzzle is obviously dumb and is probably rigged. What the hell does on the card is on the cake even mean? Don't worry, Donald. It is okay that you are stupid. Don't call me stupid, Joe. You know what? How about you take this next puzzle if you think that you are so smart? Fine, Donald, I will. This one is easy anyway. All I gotta do is, uh... What's wrong, Joe? Forgetting something already? No! I just, uh, wanna play with the robot real quick. LOL, smooth. Yeah, Joe, you really have us fooled right now. Really? Oh, thank God. For a second there, I thought that you guys could see that I had already forgotten the combination. LMAO, Joe, you are so easy to trick. Oh, screw you guys. You see, this is why Amanda is so much cooler than all of you. Amanda would never try to trick me like that. No, she wouldn't. You are right, Joe. She would just rip your head straight off your body instead. Wait, hang on, Barack. I think I have got it again. I cannot wait to see him immediately forget it again as well. No, I will not, Donald. Look. CCD, CFE, easy. I've already got it locked into my memory. I'm waiting for it. Aha, let's go. Wait for this, bitch. I am the king of memory. Okay, cool. Just put the candle on the cake now then. Ah, where are those noises coming from? Oh, this is actually really creepy. Look though, there's another tape. Guys, I'm really scared. I want to go back to watching Amanda episodes now. Don't worry, Joe. We got a brand new episode for you right here. Oh, yippee. I cannot wait to see Amanda again. I feel like I need to see her more and more for some reason. I don't have much time. Do you trust me? Whoa, what is happening right now? Willie! 
ready for an adventure? Amanda, you know you can't. Willie Did had I just an see you jump the fuck down on Willie for a split second? When a friend has an accident, what the fuck sometimes was that? nobody can help them, but we can try. No, Amanda, I I'm fine. Oh God, Willie is I fucked. Just, uh... Poor Willie is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? It is his head, Amanda. His head is really confused. Wooly's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. This bitch is looking Let's extra creepy. Let's prepare the patient. Yeah, I agree. She is here, extra spicy, Willie, just how I like it. This. Is Wooly getting roofied right now? I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Wooly? Amanda, I feel... Uh... Oh, that cannot be good. Do not worry, guys. Amanda is going to fix him. Holy shit. Operate what the fuck? immediately on the patient's brain. See, guys? Amanda is going to what save What tools should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? Let's try the hammer. That might be helpful, but what else could we use? What about the scissors? Things could get really messy if we use that. OK, let's try the bone that saw. That looks hard to use, but I could try. Joe, why the fuck are you going along with this? <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy! I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Now, who are you going to help? Help Amanda, guys, quick! No fucking way, Joe! You're She's going to kill going him! To no, me? she isn't, Donald. She's just going to fix it. I can do this by myself. Oh, I do love a happy ending. Let's go, Amanda. I think I might be traumatized. Hey, guys, look, another tape. Oh, boy, even more new Amanda episodes. This must just be my lucky day. I honestly don't want to watch this one anymore. I feel like I need to process what I just witnessed. Oh, stop being such babies. One more episode of good old friendly Amanda couldn't I'm... Hold... Hi. Trap. Door. Treat. Wait, that was it. Talk about disappointing. What does trapdoor treat even mean? I do not know, Donald. Let's try watch it one more time just to be sure I'm... that we haven't missed anything. Hi. Trapdoor treat. No, that is literally everything. Oh, man. I wanted to watch more Amanda. Joe, you are seriously starting to freak me out with how much you're talking about Amanda. You don't need to be freaked out, Donald. Thanks to Amanda, I feel more alive than ever. Time. I feel on top me? of the world. I just want to watch some more Amanda for now. Wooly. His legs, his legs are broken. Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Uh, his torso. Don't you care about Wooly? He needs our help. Fine, uh, his arms. If we don't fix him now, things will get very, very bad. Uh, his torso again? Am I the only one who sees what's wrong here? Stop lying to Amanda, Donald. Wooly's head is broken. Willie's we need to fix it. Wooly's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Wooly, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Wooly? Amanda, I feel, uh... I honestly don't feel like I'm ready to see this again. Oh, don't they be such a baby, Barack. It is just a little bit of surgery. The patient's brain. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? The saw, we should that use the saw. That might be helpful, but what else could we use? The hammer, we can it use the hammer. It get really messy if we use that. I need to pause, man. I don't think I am ready to see that again. Oh, shut the fuck up, Barack. Stop interrupting my time with Amanda. That looks hard to use, but I could try. <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy! I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Now, who are you going to help? Don't worry, Amanda. I will help you. Let's get the patient subdued so we can finish the operation! Oh, everything will be okay. Wow, Amanda is such a good surgeon. I cannot believe how talented she is. Joe, are you fucking insane? You seriously need to give it a rest with the Amanda stuff. No way, Donald. Amanda makes me happy. Amanda makes me feel alive. 
No, no way. I'm done for the day, guys. I cannot take any. No, don't you fucking dare try to take my Amanda away from me, Barack. You will keep playing until we have seen every single episode of Amanda that we possibly can. Okay, okay, I will keep playing, I swear. Good, now look over there. There is another tape. Oh, I cannot wait to watch some more Amanda. What about you guys? So oh, I excited, I'm actually brimming Amanda, with Joe. anticipation. Good, that is what I like to hear. Now let's watch this tape already. I'm allergic to apples. How many tear? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many plate? Oh man, another dud episode. I wanted more Amanda. Don't worry, Joe, we can get you more Amanda. We just need to solve whatever puzzle these tapes are pointing to. Okay, all we need is to see how many chairs there are first. Would the couch count? No, of course it would not, silly. The couch is not a chair. Yeah, you are right. Uh, sorry, Joe. Okay, then. It looks like there is only one chair, then. What were the other things that we needed to keep track of again? I do not remember, Barack. How about we load the tape back up? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Joe. Let's watch the tape again. I'm allergic to apples. How many chair? How many mushrooms? Mushrooms, it was mushrooms. I knew it was something like mushrooms. No, you did not, Donald. Don't you fucking lie to me. You are right. Sorry, Joe, I wasn't thinking. No, Donald, clearly you were not. Okay, the first two numbers are one and eight. Let me just put those in real quick. Okay, done. Now we go back and check out what is next. How many? Okay, fruit. We need to see how many fruit there is. Oh, this is so much fun. I love this game. Six. There is six fruit if you count the one we used to make the pie. Let me just add that to the lock real quick. Wow, Barack, you're really smart with this. I hope you're able to get me some more Amanda episodes soon. I'm starting to get bored. I can, I can. I just need to count the lights. There are two, there are only two. Okay, we can open up the closet now. I wish Dark Brandon was still here. Look, look, I got it open. We can get you some more Amanda episodes now, Joe. Oh, yippee! I cannot wait for another Amanda episode. Quickly, let's put it in. Oh, here we go, I'm so excited. We don't have much time. If Wooly says it, it's most likely true. Another fucking dud? Are you fucking serious? This is really five, starting to piss zero, me off. Four, it is okay, zero, Joe. Five, it gave us a code. Five, we can get you the next tape easy peasy. Five, Just watch. Obviously. But first, you need the key to my heart. Because it is not what you have on the outside that matters. It is what you keep on the inside that really counts. What you keep on the inside. Ooh! I think we need to destroy the robot. I think he is keeping the key to the chest inside of him. Good thinking, Donald. You see, Joe, we will get you that next tape, no problem. Please have mercy. We were going to have such a beautiful <laughs> Crumble, bitch. Please do not forget. Silly robot, ha 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 ha, oh he is so funny. Okay, here we go. Now we just gotta grab the tape from inside the chest. This had better not be another dud episode. I am getting really bored without my Amanda. I am sure that this one will be a normal episode, Joe. Let's just put it in and give it a watch, okay? Oh, I am so excited to see Amanda again. Where the fuck is Wooly on the logo? Yeah, why is he censored? Hi, I'm Amanda. Hello, Amanda, I've when missed you so friends, much. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Oh, ha 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 ha. What a silly little Mr. Sharing Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Ooh, ooh, I would love that one, Amanda. Wow, you are so generous. Yum, that's my favorite. Please save us, Dark Brandon. Friends can share other things, too. What did you say, Barack? They can Nothing. share secrets. 
Can I share a secret with you? Yes, of course, Amanda. You can tell me anything. You are everything to me. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Of course I'm sure, Amanda. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Yes, Amanda. Please just tell me. I'm out there. Somewhere. Ah! Kill that bitch! Quickly, Amanda. Dark Brandon, please save us. Wait, what? Ah! Don't worry, guys. I got this. Oh my god, you came. Of course I did, Barack. I could never let this prepubescent pecker to be the end of you. Take this, you ancient skank. Is, is it over? Yeah, Donald, it's over. You're safe now. Oh my god, thank you so much, Brandon. That was badass. Wait, what's going to happen to Joe, though? I've put him to sleep for now, Donald. When he wakes up, he will not remember anything to do with Amanda. My advice from here would be to never remind him of it. Okay, that is me done for the day. I think I'm going to go and throw up now. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will...